Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiadal algebra problem. So here we have t square minus t cubed equals to 150 and we solve this problem for all the values of t. So you see here this is cubic equation, it means that this equation has three roots and now we can solve this problem for all the all that three roots of the given equation. Okay. So first we need to focus in the right hand side and uh, in the right hand side we have t square minus t cubed equals to we break 150 as in this form we write it as 125 plus 25 and now again we rewrite our right hand side as t square minus t cubed equals to we write this 125 as 5 cubed plus 5 square. So further in the next step uh, you see here uh, we need to move both of these values in the left hand side and it will becomes t square minus t cubed minus 5 cubed minus 5 square equals to 0. And now here in the next step uh, we need to make the pair of t square with uh, 5 square and t cube with 5 cube. So it will be written as t square minus this is 5 square. And here we take common negative sign and it will become t cubed plus 5 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here we need uh, two nice formulas in order to move forward. Uh, first in the first factor we can apply here this nice formula if you have uh, a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b. And in the second factor we apply this cubic formula a cubed plus b cubed equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square. So from first factor our a is the base of this term that is t and b is 5 similarly here our a is t and b is 5. So, uh, according to uh, below these two formulas, first we can apply the first formula in the first factor. So, our first factor after applying this formula is written as this is t square minus 5 square will be written as t minus 5 times of t plus 5 and minus here we apply the cubic formula and first we have a plus b where our a is t and b is 5 into a square a is t square minus a b a is t and b is 5 plus b square b is 5 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now further in the next step you see here both of these terms involve t plus 5 so uh, we take common t plus 5 from here and when you take common t plus 5 from here we get t minus 5 only. And uh, when you take common t plus 5 from here, uh, we get t square minus 5t and plus 5 square becomes 25 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step, uh, we need some simplification here and it will be written as t plus 5 times and here we have t minus 5 and now we multiply this negative sign on each of these values and it will becomes minus t square plus 5t minus 25 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step we have this is t plus 5 into here we have this is minus t square this t and this 5t becomes here 6t and this minus 5 and this minus 25 becomes minus 30 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write t plus 5 equals to 0 and the second case is we write minus t square plus 60 minus 30 equals to 0. From first case we easily get the value of t is equals to minus 5. This is the first real root of the given equation and now in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation but now first we can write this quadratic equation into the standard form for this we need to multiplying on both of the sides by minus 1. So when you multiply both of the sides by minus 1 it will become this minus t square becomes plus t square this plus 60 becomes minus 60 and this minus 30 becomes plus 30 equal equals to 0 
and now for uh, quadratic formula uh, we first need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 6 and c equals to 30 and we state the quadratic formula as t equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the over quadratic formula and now we need to put the above values of a b and c in this nice formula so after substituting the values it will be written as first we have minus b the value of b is minus 6 so this minus times of minus becomes plus 6 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 6 and minus 6 square becomes plus 36 minus 4 times of a is 1 c is 30 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is 6 plus minus square root of 36 minus uh, 4 times of 30 uh, is equals to uh, 120 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2 so here when we subtract these two values it will be written as uh, this is 6 uh, plus minus 36 minus 120 is equals to minus 84 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we have t is equals to 6 plus minus here we can write a square root uh, separately on both of these values it will become square root of 84 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2 and now in the next step uh, we write uh, we rewrite this 84 as uh, 4 times of 21 4 times of 21 becomes 84 and we know that square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step uh, we need to uh, break this fraction uh, so it will be written as 6 over 2 plus minus here we know that square root of 4 is equals to 2 times of uh, square root of 21 into iota and it is divided by 2 and here you have this is 2 times of 3 becomes 6 we get t is equals to 3 plus minus this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we obtain here square root of 21 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and we have t is equals to minus 5 be the one real root of the given equation. And this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.